All right, guys, this is my second video, and I'm going to talk about the NFC East games and tonight's game, the Packers versus the Saints on Thursday Night Football, 8 o'clock. Things should be interesting. I think uh, the Green Bay Packers are going to take the Saints. I think they got head and shoulders over everybody else in the NFC. Um, game's probably going to be high scoring, even though the Packers got a good defense. Uh, probably going to be 24 to 27, I'm going to say. My score, the Packers are going to win. Um but yesterday I was talking about the Cowboys injuries and I found out that Mike Jenkins and Tyron Smith both have both have um, hyperextended knees. Um, good news is Mike Jenkins did practice today even though he doesn't look like he's going to play Sunday. Um, Tyron Smith was wearing a brace and just watched practice. He's probably not going to play depending. Both players might play. We don't know yet but looks to me like they're not going to play. I wouldn't play him against the Jets shit. Um, but anyways... Uh, I'm going to talk about the NFC East games this week, starting off with the Eagles and the um, Rams. Uh, I think that the Rams are a good young team, the good young quarterback, but I still don't think they're going to compete with the Eagles. Um, the Eagles are probably going to pass all over that crappy defense of theirs, and um, Steven Jackson is probably going to have a good day against the runs as the defensive line of the Eagles is real small. But I expect them to get a lot of pressure on uh, Sam Bradford. Vic will probably run for like 20 to 40 yards probably throw a couple touchdown passes. I don't know what we'll to see. Predicting the Eagles to win that game. They'll probably be one and zero after this. Um but you never know there could be an upset depending on how much pressure they get on Vic. Um next game, Giants and Redskins. Interdivision game. That should be interesting. It could be an upset. The Redskins could upset the Eagles or I mean the Giants. Um I mean if I don't think I'll see him in your is playing or Justin Tuck one of them's not playing. I don't know. But um, it should be interesting to see. Eli Manning does good in division games, so we'll see how Rex Grossman does against that Giants defense. Um, my prediction is the Giants win this one, um, 14 to 10. Probably going to be low scoring. And finally, for the Cowboys game, Cowboys against the um, Jets on Sunday night. I think Dallas will probably, uh, depending on these injuries, I don't know, it could swing either way. Um, I'm going to have to say the Jets are going to win. 24 to 21. It's going to be a close game. I don't know if we'll get that high scoring, but we'll see. It's on Sunday night, 9-11 in New York. It's going to be tough for Dallas to go in there and win. But if Romo gets time, I mean, and he or Rex Ryan brings all those blitzes and he has time to hit those receivers, I can see what happens. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I think is going to happen this week and the game tonight. Uh, hopefully nobody gets injured. I mean, shit, football fucking blows when quarterbacks like Tony Romo get injured for the whole fucking season but we'll see what happens um I'll probably the next video I'll make will probably be after the Cowboys game after all the Sunday games we'll see what happens um good luck to those NFC teams I'm hoping that the Redskins beat the Giants actually be nice but we'll see what happens all right guys